Hello? Today I want to talk to you today about a special, special phone. First of all, let me come to ask you, this is a serious question. How many of y'all know or don't know when the when the world that in, when the world will end? How many people want to know when the end of the world will come? There's a difference between when the world will end and when Jesus returns. Big difference. Listen to me closely. I have before me the exact scriptures that tells when the world will end. Some of y'all might call me crazy, some of y'all might call me foolish, but the words that I spoke speak today will not be from my mouth, but the scriptures and words shall come from God Himself. Let's get started. First of all, the world will end. The title, of the, the title of this message is called The Kingdom of God. That's the title of the message because it will, it will come when it comes when I, when I speak these words. Turn me to Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. Matthew 24 14. If this gets you answered. Matthew 24, 14. And here's what your answer is going to be when the world will come to an end. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come the kingdom of God that's the gospel Jesus preached his gospel many many times he preached the kingdom of God and he preached the power of repentance and being saved Turn me to Mark chapter 1 verse 15. Here's what it says in, G in, in Jesus when Jesus spoke it. Mark 1 15. The time is fulfilled. Notice how it says the time is already fulfilled. And the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent you and believe in the gospel. John 14 2 says this John 14 2 says this in my father's house are many mansions if I were not if it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you and if I go to prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you in myself that where I am there you may also be now where where do you think Jesus talk about it's the heavens that's what he's talking about he's talking about heaven the kingdom of God I just give you a description of what the he means what the kingdom of God is First of all, turn me also to uh, John eighteen thirty six. Jesus answered, "My kingdom is not of the world, of this world." That was why he said, that "His kingdom is not of this world, the world that you and I live in today. It's not of this world." 
If my kin were of this world, then would my servants fight, that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence. Where is it from? Where is the kingdom at? That's the question. And I tell you where it is. It's not only inside your heart. But there is a physical place. Above the clouds. In a place called heaven. Where it stays until the moment of his return. That's where his kingdom is. His kingdom is an invisible kingdom. To where only the, only the believers will see. And enter. The wicked may see it. But they will not enter it. Because first of all they didn't repent of their sins. They turned away from the gospel. They didn't believe in the Son of God, and they went their own ways, and done their own life, they done their own pleasures, and they did not receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. My friends, the kingdom of God is real. The kingdom is coming one day for you and I. For those who receive Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, as a believer, who turns away from their sins, turns away from the wicked ways, and repents. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can get into the fire. To the Father felt for me. That's what he said. You find that passage in John 14 6. John 14 6. Let me ask you a question. How would you like to, how are you ready to enter this new kingdom of God that he's promised us? Are you right? Are you ready to go? Check 30. Check closely. Because he is coming very, very soon. Imagine a city the size of New York, if not bigger. All buildings and streets are made of pure gold. And within inside this city is many, many mansions. And along the way, there's a river of clear waters called living water, everlasting water. And on each side, it's, it's got two, it's got rows of trees of life. That all may, that, that might be well. May be type may eat from this tree of life, and this seed's got nothing but pure gold, golden houses, golden streets, golden buildings. And inside of it is where God Himself dwells. No need for light because God is the light. He will brighten the whole city up. Now, do you want a home like that? Or you want a home where you're on earth, where you have cars and homes and boats that's one day going to burn up and be destroyed? Jesus says that where your heart is, is also where your treasures are. Where your heart is is also where your treasures are. He says, do not lay your treasures, earthly treasures, where moth can destroy, rust can, can destroy, nor thieves will break into and steal. But, put your treasures in the heavenly kingdom, 
where thieves nor rust nor nor uh, anything can destroy or steal it. That, my friends, is where your kingdom will be if you accept it. I'll just tell you. Description of what heaven the golden sea will look like. It's beautiful. This, my friend, is, is the most beautiful thing you can ever imagine. Turn me to Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21. Again, verse 1 and 10 through 27. Revelation 21. And this is John, that when, when John, angel, took him. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the earth hath passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem coming down from the God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God Himself shall be there, and be, and God Himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, sorrow, crying, or pain. For the former things have passed away. And he that sat up on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto them, Right for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto, him, unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominables and murderers and war whoremongers and sorcerers, all liars and all liars shall have part in the lake of the burns of fire and brimstone, which is the second death. No wicked, no sinful person, unless they repent, will ever enter the kingdom of God. That means liars, murderers, thieves, drinking, drunkards, people who don't obey the commandments, they don't repent of their sins. All these, if you hang on to anything that's, uh, that's of the flesh, you better get rid of it. The spirit, the the the, art, the the work of the flesh is found in Galatians 5, 19 through 21. I'll read you some more of them. Timothy 1 9, 1 Corinthians 6 9 through 11, Galatians 5 19 through 21, Romans chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, 29 through 31, and 2 Timothy 3 25. 
these are the wicked ones. Brothers and sisters, you don't want to be considered wicked, do you? Otherwise, you're going to give up something you wish you had. Verse 9 says, And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vials full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come, higher, and I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to that great and high mountain, and showed me that great city, that holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God. That, my friend, is where your new Jerusalem is at the moment, in heaven. Goes on and saying, here's a description of it. Verse 11. How in the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great <clears throat> and high, twelve gates, and at the gates were twelve angels, and the names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of, of children of Israel. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west of three gates. And the walls of the sea had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, the twelve disciples. And he that talked with me and had a golden reed to measure the city, and the great thereof, and the wall thereof, and the sea lieth four squares, like a square. And the length of it was as large as the breadth of it. And he measured the sea with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. The length and the breadth and the height of it was equal. And he measured the wall thereof in 144 cubits, according to the measurements of men. And that is one of, that is of the angel. And the building of the wall was pure gold, like unto clear glass, and the foundations of the wall of the sea were garnished with all manner of precious stones, jasper, sapphire, chalodina, emerald, sardinx, sardius, the seventh was chair slot. The eighth was beryl, the ninth was topaz, the tenth, Christ, Cropsaurus, the eleventh, Jaspin, and the twelfth, an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gates was one pearl, and these pearls are huge. And the streets of the city was pure gold as if it was transparent glass and I saw no temple therein for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb of the temple of it and the sea had no need of the sun neither of the moon to shine in it for the glory of God did lighten it and the Lamb is the light and thereof, and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they bringeth they shall bring the glory and honor all the nations into it. Into it anything that defiles and neither whatsoever worth of the abominations or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the book of Lamb's book of life. And then it goes on chapter 22 says, And I saw me a pure river of water of life. Clear as crystal, 
proceed now the throne of God and the Lamb. And then in the midst of the streets of it, and on either side of the river, was there was a tree of life, which bare twelve manners of fruits, and yielded, and yielded her fruit every month. And the healing of the nation, and the leaves of the tree were for the healings of the nations. And there became, and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their, in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light. And I shall, they shall reign with him forever and ever. And he said unto them, These things are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show him, show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the, of the prophets of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to my work to my I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Then then said unto said he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren the prophets. And of them which keep the sayings of this book, worship God. And last of closing, he says this in verse 10. And he said unto me, Seal not the book, the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. Brothers and sisters, wouldn't you like to be part of this kingdom? I'm telling you, isn't it wonderful? This, my friend, you do not want to miss. That is the kingdom of the God. First of all, we know that it's coming out of heaven. We know what it looks like. Man, our streets are made out of pure gold. The sea was made out of gold like uh, transparent glass. We know the size of it. You don't want to miss it. It's not even of this world. So to get there, you have to be clean. You have to be purified. You have to be a child of God. You have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You have to repent and see it every day. And turn to Him. And worship Him. And love thy neighbors as He commanded us. Love thy enemies and love thy neighbors. And love thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. And study the Word every day. He's not asking too much from us. Not compared to what he went through. So I'm asking you today. Where do you stand? Are you ready for that golden seed? Or are you going to wait for the last minute? And then you might not have that chance. To make that decision. I pray that you make the decision right now. To turn to God. Turn to Jesus. And repent of your sins and be baptized. John 3 3 says, says that the should be baptized, born of water and of the Holy Spirit. You cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
God bless you all. And I hope this is a, I hope this reaches out as far as it can go like wild. Amen. May God be with you.